Hi everyone. So with the current COVID situation, with the restrictions and lockdown in place, we can no longer go night fishing. But let's face it, who wants to go night fishing at this time of year anyway? We've got long, cold, boring nights. And if I'm honest, at this time of year, I do tend to find that most of the action tends to happen during the day. So in this video, I'd like to share with you five of my top tips and tricks to help you catch more fish during short winter day sessions. So first and foremost, when it comes to successful day session fishing in the winter, the most important thing has to be choosing the right venue. If you're gonna be fishing on waters that are hard during the summer, they certainly aren't gonna get any easier during the winter months. So those low stock, big gravel pits really aren't gonna be easy going at all in the winter months. Instead, small, shallow, prolific venues where the carp are gonna be much easier to locate will give you a much better chance of catching carp. So as a perfect example, you join me today at my own Waynestones Fishery Woodpole. Now this is just a five minute drive from my house. It's a tiny pool of half an acre in size, but there's around 75 carp in here, ranging from uh, low double figures up to mid twenties. Now at this time of year, fish do tend to be quite uh, tightly grouped up. Um, so on a large lake, finding those fish can be very, very difficult. But on a lake of this size, you know you're never gonna be far away from the carp. Now after choosing the right venue, the next most important factor to consider is location. And this is where a lot of anglers do seem to struggle in the winter months. And it's understandable, the fish are not moving around as much, they're not showing as much, and they can be very, very difficult to find. What I have found though, is if you can find areas where there are uh, structure, such as snags or um, dying lily beds, reed beds, or sunken islands, overhanging trees, anywhere where there's some cover for the fish, they are always very good starting points in the winter. Now, if your venue doesn't have any of these type of features, one thing I have noticed on a lot of venues is the fish seem to head out into the middle of the lake during the winter months. Now, I don't know why this is, but it's happened on so many occasions where I've had nothing to go on and instead I've just blasted out some single hook baits towards the centre of the lake and it's them that have done the business. Now one of the tip when it comes to winter location is carp are creatures of habit, especially in the winter months. And if you can find out your chosen venue's previous winter form and find out which areas have been productive in the past, then quite often they'll be productive again. Now, if all that fails, one other tip when it comes to locating carp in the winter is to fish for liners. Now, if you are getting liners, that means that carp are in the vicinity. And if you're not getting liners at all, then that could mean there are no carp in the area. So one thing I do a lot in the winter is fish with light bobbins, semi-slack lines, and a nice drop on the bobbin. That way, if any carp are coming into contact with the line as they're moving through the swim, then it'll register back on the alarm as a liner, as an indication. So if I'm not receiving any indications, even though I've got a nice slack line and a really lightweight bobbin, then chances are there are no carp in the area. And then it's time for a move. Now that brings me on nicely to our next tip, and that is to stay mobile. I mentioned before, if I'm not receiving liners, then chances are there are no fish in the vicinity. And if I've chosen the right venue, which would be a prolific, well-stocked venue, then these fish do tend to group up in the winter months. And you often find there's several groups of fish dotted around the lake. So if I'm not receiving liners, then chances are I'm not on the fish and I need to up sticks and move. Now I'd probably give each swim around an hour and if in that time I'd had no indications at all, then I would move swims again and carry on doing so until I'd been able to track them down.
So having pieced everything together and having found the carp, it's now time for the final piece of the puzzle, and that is bait and bait application. Now, the carp at this time of year, they're not feeding with a great deal of conviction. And I've now found the carp. I know the fish are there, so I don't need to introduce any background feed to try and entice them into the swim or to, to keep them there, to hold them there. So instead, I'm just looking to fish for a bite at a time, just to try and nick a bite. And I would do this by using high attract, high visual hook baits, which have been glugged and boosted to the max to really crank up the, the food signals and attraction being leaked from the bait. Now I'd either fish these on their own as a single hook bait or in conjunction with a small mesh PVA stick. And that would just contain finely crumbed, boily crumb, just a little, a little parcel of dust. Like I said, you're not trying to feed the fish, it's just enough there to entice them down into picking up the hook bait. So you don't need to do nights in order to catch carp in the winter. In fact, the days tend to be the most productive at this time of year. So choose the right venue, get your location right and your bait and baiting strategy and get out there and get catching.